always be the only one You're the only one Sergei Lazarev will sing for Russia at the Eurovision Song Contest 2019. Shall we talk about it? Let's, Let's do this! Congratulations to Sergei Lazarev and to Russian Eurovision fans. The king is back. Who's the only one? Sergei Lazarev. Yes, the televote winner in 2016, a very competitive year. He is back. He wants to take what is his, and we cannot wait. Devin, what is your first reaction to the news? Oh, he's a father now. So my first reaction is there is going to be a mini Sergei Lazarev in the hall looking at daddy and we're all going to be loving that yeah. moment. <laughs> Nikita is so gorgeous. Nikita slays. <laughs> now look, we're going to go through five reasons we're excited that Sergei is back. Number one, the number one reason we think he needs to come back is because this time we want to see him upside down. Yes, honey. You know, at Eurovision 2016, Gogglebox, the program actually, which is a UK program showing people watching television, his moment was just transfixed the nation, didn't it? Yeah, he of course was on an iceberg, upside down, seeming to float in outer space. Technically, this was unreal. This was absolutely amazing. And this year, the staging could be even better. We want to see him fully flipped. <laughs> On an icy asteroid, half naked, this man can weather any storm. Absolutely. Number two, the world deserves another Eurovision video opening showcasing his physique for at least 30 seconds. At least, William Lee Adams. His music video in 2016 was among the best we've ever seen at Eurovision. It was so technologically advanced. At the beginning, he's shirtless in bed, his stomach opens, you fall through. Oh, babe, listen, this is a man that consistently just shows love and courts love from people. Remember, Russia has had booze over the years. Sergei Lazarev came on the scene. It's all... <laughs> Congratulations, honey! Yay! But sticking with point number two, in this music video, he had Miss Universe Russia. Oh! M. She was the woman. G. He she is so it. connected to all these people. She killed it. Vladislava Ivashenko, yes. Miss Universe Russia. So he's going to give us another amazing music video. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. <laughs> Number three. He's got the resources and team to make magic happen. Yeah, but working on the actual song and staging. Staging, we've got Focus, Focus Evangelino. is in his circle. He, of course, has done, he did for Read Mama Dove a few years ago. Do you remember? Hold me, yeah, just some control me. Uh, uh, Azerbaijan 2013, killed it. Demetrius Kontinupolis, the group oh. composer, Shady Lady, Philip Kierkegaard is on his side. Amazing. He often works with Alex Panay, the vocal coach. Amazing. And why do we bring up these names? Because on Instagram, we've seen that the Dream Team has been working together. They were in Moscow recently doing something. We can only assume it was for Sergei. Not just that, Sergei Lazarev is loyal. Loyalty loyal. first. We know Philip Kikorov is going to be on this. I mean, look at the magic he did with Dorados. Oh. Look at the magic that he did for Sergei. With the Tolman Chevys, with Sergei. He it. always does magic. And the point is that Sergei is friends with all of these people. Now, the, the, the actual team team's not been confirmed, but he'll be working with his friends, presumably. No doubt. Yeah. No doubt. All right. Um, we just got to say, they also made that amazing stage performance from 2016, which he was climbing an LED wall. Literally climbing an LED wall. So what will he do this time to outdo himself? And you know what? Can I just point out also in 2016, it was clearly about the vocals because the man was dressed in black. You know, he wasn't even showing his beautiful body. He gave that, he gave us that in the video. While moving, he managed to hold his vocals because he had to do a lot. It was a physically oh. grueling performance and he Choreography managed. with himself, with the screen and with live dancers. Who does that? Yes. <laughs> Point number four, we cannot wait to see reactions from his young son. 
Having children changes you. Totally. So Sergei is not just performing for himself and for Russia, he's also performing for his family. Amazing. And his family will be there to support him. And I'm actually quite keen to see the reaction from his younger son looking at daddy on stage. Amazing. And our fifth reason we're excited Sergei Lazarev is coming back it's because the jury vote in 2016 was criminal. The ratio I don't want to hear is 21 out of 40. I just don't want to hear it. Like, I understand maybe if it wasn't your number one song, that's fine. It was a strong year. How could it not be in your top ranking 10. at yeah. all? Half like, the jury zero. put Russia outside of their top 10, meaning they got zero points. And that just seems like a stretch. That's political voting. That's political voting. I'm not calling it that. It is. But it is It is certainly a marker of bad taste because how can your top 10 not feature that act? Yeah, it's just, and for so many country juries to do that suggests something a bit more sinister at play. Look, 2016 was a tough year. Jamala, a very deserving winner. You Dami Ema, a deserving runner-up. Yeah, a deserving winner as well, potentially. Polly Genova could have won. There were a lot of great acts that year. This year, Sergey, you know, it's a new year, a new field, who knows what he'll be up against, but surely we've got to say he's going to be among the top already. Oh, no doubt. Among the Absolutely top. Absolutely no doubt. And you know what's really remarkable? If 21 out of 40 give you absolutely zero and you still manage to finish in the top three, it's unheard of. Yeah, he might well pull a Dima Balan. He might pull a Dima Balan and on his second run win. I think it's very wise of him to come back now. He let some other acts go for a few years. Russia had a very bad spell at Eurovision in May, not making the Oh, uh, let me, can I just predict, Russia is definitely qualifying. <laughs> Russia's qualifying and Russia is in it to win it. I am so excited. This is going to be amazing. Final thoughts? The network, the broadcaster, will get behind Sergey. Last year, in 2018, they didn't seem particularly behind their act. I kind of felt like Julia was just kind of cast out. She was there, there wasn't much staging, um, she was a bit minimized. But this year is a new story, and they want to rewrite that story. And when you've got one of your most famous performers, you're going to invest. So my final thoughts is that Sergey really does know how to connect with his fans. How many people will upload um, sort of a song anonymously to SoundCloud and just wait for reactions. He's not resting on his big name. He's not resting on his legacy. No. He actually wants to remain current and he's giving fans what they want. Now, of course, that song was fabulously received. He then unveiled himself as behind the song. Constantly reinventing himself, mixing it up. And what I loved about that LSV track he released is people who didn't like his music heard the song and they loved it and he was like ha 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 gotcha goodbye felicia gotcha y'all like lazarev <laughs> in any case we're excited that sergey's back what do you think are you loving his chances to slay for russia do you want him to sing a modern pop ballad or a go crazy dance number let us know here on Weebly vlogs one thing i do know is that i want william lee adams to stroke his bicep one more time i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> we'll see you guys later. Bye. 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 Bye.